David Scalabrini once said that he's closer to LeBron than you are to him. And I like that because I'm closer to dating Kay Adams than you are to feeling the touch of a woman. Do you catch my drift? Gentlemen, welcome to the Wheel of College Ultimate Team. We're four and one on the season, meaning one more win and we secure a spot in the playoffs. The team is looking nasty. Offensive lines got Laramie Tunzel, Jonah Monheim, and Jonah S. My guards could use a little upgrade. My tight ends could use a little upgrade. Clay Russell, the non-real human, could also use an upgrade. But other than that, offense is looking really good. Sibley caught a very clutch touchdown pass last game. Luther Burden made his debut. He is so good. CJ2K and Lamar in the backfield. Defensively really is where we win our ball games. McNeil Warren, Jonas Sanker at safeties. At DBs, we've got our prestige Travis Hunter. We've got Will Johnson. We got Fentral Cypress. And on the D-line, we got JPJ, Warren Sapp, Judevian Clowney. And at linebackers, we just added two lanes Tyler Grubbs. We got Smile Mountain Jr. And of course, Abdul Carter. We got a we got a sick defense, dude. It's so good. All right, gentlemen, it's ECU season. It's time to make the playoffs. And the playoffs will start with a great wheel spin, right? We get an awesome wheel spin here, add some studs, go to the playoffs, win the natty. That's how I'm feeling. Ooh. I think this is the first time we've ever got this spin. FBS Independence Jackpot. So we can sort the auction house by all FBS Independence, and we can take one player. What are our best options? I feel like Notre Dame's gonna have a lot for us here. They got a whole lot for us here. So first things first, there's Howard Cross the third, an 88 overall D tackle. I just don't know that I need a D tackle right now. Oh, Mitch Evans? We had Mitch Evans 84 on pack and play. He was super good, actually. And I have been kind of complaining about my tight end. Mitch Evans is a really good option. There's also Xavier Watts. Xavier Watts is super good. I just don't need him. My safeties are great. I don't see any reason to pick up Xavier Watts here. Also, I'm a gigantic casual. I thought there were like 10 teams that were FBS independents. There's only two now. It's literally Notre Dame and UConn and that's it. I thought BYU was independent. Does it really matter? You know what we basically just spun? We basically just spun Notre Dame jackpot. Now, regardless, Mitch Evans is an amazing option at tight end. Dylan Goad out of Georgia Tech. He was a dog for us for a few games, but I'm going to move him to our backup tight end and potentially he could be fullback as well. Oh my God, his name's not even Dylan. I've been calling this dude Dylan Goad. It's a Ryland. That's a classic dyslexia moment though. Like you see how Ryland could turn into Dylan in my brain. All right, Ryland Goad is in a backup tight end. Mitch Evans is at starting tight end. And I think we can put Goad at our fullback so we don't need Clay Russell in there anymore. Clay Russell, thank you for your service. You so your country well. Right now, we now have an awesome tight end, an 88 overall tight end, and we've got our second wheel spin to see how we can upgrade this team. It's one spin on the wheel of coins. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the auction house is like completely obliterated. You can get anything from 10K to a full jackpot on this wheel, and hopefully we can get 200K. 200K? Oh, it slipped over to 100, but that is still amazing. We'll get 100,000 coins to spend on one player. I think offense looks good. I could potentially get a wide receiver too. So I feel like Ocho Cinco is just not the move. I could go for a guard, although I think 83 is okay. Defensively, what would I get? Maybe a corner three. I'm actually gonna go MLB two. I'm going MLB two because Dylan Carter automatically comes in and they won't let me sub in my edge rushers. Bro, I could get the boss at middle linebacker for 92,000 coins, six foot four, 85 speed. I'm gonna do it. I am gonna do it. Also, let's see how the Boz stacks up. I think Boz is better than Smile Mondin Jr. So I gotta start him. Yeah, he's faster, he's taller. Boz is gonna be MLB one. He's boosted to an 87. Smile Mondin's at 86. Dude, my linebackers are gross on this team. Abdul Carter, Boz, where Smile Mondin and Grubbs. Representing Penn State, Oklahoma, Georgia, and Tulane. Gentlemen, that takes us to our final wheel spin before a huge game potentially securing a playoff spot. It's, keep going. I'm the length of my cock away from conference wheel jackpot. 84, 85 top 12 can still be really good. I would take a D tackle. D tackle or wide receiver are both great options here. The auction house is gonna determine this one for us. We're gonna go quality 84, 85. We're gonna sort by time remaining and we get to choose out of those 12 cards there. Time remaining, Roger Staubach. A lot of middle linebackers, that is so bad. Uh, Mason Tharp. Oh, there is a D tackle. There's Isaiah Nayor. We could get the goat again. There is a tight end who could play wide 
wide receiver. Marshall Folk could play wide receiver. I think we go Walter Nolan out of Ole Miss and get a, another really good D tackle. He actually would be my new starting D tackle. I think I just got to rock mediocre wide receivers. Honestly, guys, if you watch me play, I'm not big on using my wide receivers. So Walter Nolan out of Ole Miss. How are these stats looking? 74 speed, 83 excel, 84 power moves, 84 strength. How does that add up to 85? I don't know. Dude, not gonna lie though, Warren Sapp has 80 speed. That is so fast for a D tackle. I'm gonna keep Warren Sapp as my starting D tackle. Walter Nolan can be my backup D tackle. Takes our team to an 86 overall. That is so good. All right, gentlemen, there's no new players on our top five, but that doesn't mean this isn't a huge game. We've got Mitch Evans at tight end. We've got Brian Bosworth at MLB one, and we've got Walter Nolan at my D tackle. We're looking to win here, propel ourselves to the playoffs, and maybe finally get a 40 bomb. Don't forget about the challenge wheel, baby. Completing this challenge will give me one of any pack in the store. Oh, we've never had this one before. If it is fourth down, I must run the football if I'm going for it. So if it's fourth and 20 and I have to go for it, I have to run the football. He's got Odunze, Will Anderson, Lamar Jackson, and his gamer tag is constantly hard. Me and you both, brother. Alabama versus East Carolina. And for the first time all season, I've got the overall advantage. 86, taking on an 85. We'll start on defense, my favorite. I just realized that ECU's field is called the Clark Family Boneyard. That's funny, I call my bedroom the Maher Family Boneyard. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, Brian Bosworth's first rep. Can we make it a good one? It might be a tackle for the Boz. They did pick up 15 yards, but at least I got him involved. Oh, he's got Jack Velling. He's got the MSU legend, Jack Velling. Dude, this defense is so nasty. Abdul Carter in the middle now in this nickel set. He wants to throw running. Oh, did I just get bombed? Did I get bombed, but I couldn't even make the tackle after either. Oh, Doomsday's only got 87 speed. I must have been in a bad defense there. Nice play. He scores lightning fast. And they're going for two. I expect a run on this. Sure is. Sure is. Look at that. It's two lanes. Tyler Grubbs. He has been so good for us. Quick touchdown out of Bama. Stop the two-point conversion. One thing I can promise you right now. Yeah! 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 <laughs> No fucking way! What? The scum kick just got scum returned! Scum these nuts in your ball! There's no way that just happened. I've never seen that interaction before. He went to do that bullshit little scum kick. We gotta see that again. It like magneted into Trav's hand and he housed it. Honestly, that is perfect karma. Well, just like that, it's six to seven and gentlemen, I can smell a 40 bomb. That's a huge hit. I can smell it! Oh! Reminds me of your mom. Get on, Abdul Carter! You're bagged! Is this like a glitch play? So we have to throw it again? Oh, good play. All right, let's play over the top. I'm sending a heater. Heater, Abdul Carter. Oh my God, he blocked that so well. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Good tackle. Dude, oh my God, we're about to score 70 on each other. All right, seven to six. He's got a corner out here. I have it bagged. He does not have that! What the fuck are you doing? What kind of interaction is that? You're standing right in front of the ball? Why on earth would you animate like that? What are you playing fucking karate simulator? That was so stupid. Second and 10. He's got a little play action here. Let's see if he can make a move out of that backfield. He does. Oh, he doesn't. I was trying to wait for the hit stick. Third and seven. I gotta go on Abdul Carter and just make a big play. Third and seven. Same play. He's gonna come back to this. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. Oh my goodness, he got a first on that. First and 10, I expect a run. No. This is a weird looking play. He's just, he's definitely gonna take off. All right, well, 100% I can stop him on defense. We just got super unlucky on that last animation. This is gonna be a run. Second and three, to which side? Oh, same play. It's kind of bagged right now though. Bit. What the fuck? How am I missing? Whatever's going on right now will not continue. That much I can tell you. First and 10. I got to score a touchdown now, though, because those last two times were freebies for me. Lamar will take a good seven yards to open us up. Let's try and get Chris Johnson on the edge here. Oh, just kidding. Cut it up the middle. 
Oh my god, Chris Johnson is a freak. He breaks so many tackles. 7 to 13 at the end of the first quarter. We get ball at half. I think we can win this game, but we got to play perfect. We cannot turn the ball over. Okay. Chris Johnson, beautiful throw. Tight window for Lamar. Now first and 10. Don't forget we got brand new Mitch Evans. We got Luther Burden. Got a lot of weapons, honestly. I'll just take Luther Burden here. He's fast. Don't forget. Look at that. I don't want him to be able to chew clocks. So I'd like to score quickly. Let's see what we can do here. Kind of a delayed blitz there. Easy. Oh, no. Dude, why is passing take so long? Did they change that? That should be an easy throw to Mitch Evans for a touchdown right there. Second and 10. Just going to go CJ 2K. Good movement, but I'm risking a fumble doing that. Inside the user, come on! Look at that! Oh, that was beautiful! Lamar Jackson escapes the pocket, moves inside the user, dives, does not fumble, and that'll give us a one-point lead because he tried to go for two right at the start, got stuffed. So we're winning this game right now. We get the ball at half. Dude, this whole season, though, we've been so good on defense, and right now, I'm struggling. We need to get our turnover. I don't think he runs the ball, but I don't want to guess pass quite yet. Okay, so it is a pass. He's got the hatback check down. Oh, I did not see that. All right, we're guessing pass here. Second and two. He's got a corner route out of the tight end. Lofts it up high. I need some pass rush. Grubs, I need you to get home. James Pierce Jr., I need you to get home. Whip route is not home. This is an eat. Stop it. What the fuck are these interactions? Tackle him. What is going on? I'm so sick. I'm sick. God. What is Odunze? Odunze is made of titanium. First and 10. Let's go. We got to stay. Got to stay composed. Got to stay composed. I love that. I love that. Jonas Sanker over the top. There's our stop. There's our stop. First and 10. I think he blitz now. I think this is a blitz out of frustration. Although this looks like man coverage as well, which means he'd have to use your CJ2K. Oh, it's not. I had X. I think I have this still. Same interaction as last time. Exact same as last time. He downpeeled too hard. Is this man coverage? Can we hit Mitch Evans? That's the question. It is. Mitch Evans torches him. Good catch. It's just out of reach to run up the field, but it was a beautiful play. 46 seconds left. So he can score here and get the ball in half. We need the 40 bomb. I'm just... Taking this, that was stupid. That was a very bad play. That's all right, that's all right, we can get it back. Ooh, see? Oh no, Lamar, shit. I knew what he was doing, he was keying on Mitch Evans. I thought we had him perfectly there, but the ball's just out of reach, and now we're in a seriously bad spot. Third and 13, need a really big play. All right, that time we can complete on that pass. It's fourth and three. I have to run it. Shit. I have to run the football here. I got to take off with Lamar because of the challenge wheel. Okay, double team on the left side. Yes. Yes. I'm out of bounds with Lamar on fourth down. 13 seconds left. <laughs> I almost forgot about the challenge wheel right there. Oh my God, this is so risky. No way he dropped. That was a horrible ball, by the way, Lamar. That was supposed to be out in front of him. I don't know that I could have made that throw anyway, but regardless, he dropped it. I at least get a chance at this. It does not look easy, though. It's a really tough field goal. I got a chance. Third and eight, not enough power. I honestly had the accuracy. I just need a little more power. Definitely could have managed the clock better there, but it is what it is. Jonah Monheim's got it, not risking a fumble. We got to go score here. We're up by one with the ball. Definitely wanted some points out of that last drive, but it is what it is. Luther Burton's about to fucking fry his man. Oh, that's not man coverage. I'm going to take the easy check down. It's fourth and two. I got to run the football. I don't have a choice. Fourth and two. Chris Johnson, this is so scary. Inside zone. Oh, they're not ready for it. That's a first. That's a first. Let's go. Oh, that was scary. Okay, this was zone last time. Is it still zone? Luther Burton's open if it is. Good movement. Really good movement from Lamar. 
I'm going for it. Luther Burden. What a beautiful shot. He wasn't respecting that because I wasn't throwing it. So we had to hit him with it. Luther Burden's been a really big part of the game plan today. And that's exciting. I feel like I don't get those guys involved nearly enough. Just going to step up with Lamar. Take a good eight yards. We are everywhere with the scrambling QB right now. It's got to be so frustrating for him. Luther Burden. Oh, no. That's going to be underthrown. I don't know how to throw that perfectly, but he did beat his man. Mitch Evans. Mitch Evans! <laughs> what a route. All right, let's not get on fourth down. We get on fourth down here, I'm going to be pissed. I'm taking too long in this drive, though. I'm not going to get a 40 bomb like this. I'm going to go CJ2K in the middle. No fumbles, no fumbles. Good, second and four. Let's go no huddle. Let's just get up there and make a touchdown happen. I think I just scrambled. I shouldn't predetermine a scramble, but let's bring Luther Burden just in case. Block Mitch Evans, and let's give Sibley a slant. See how this looks. Second and four. Yep, we got a double team there. Oh my god, you're double teamed. What the fuck? Third and six. Uh-oh, this is not what we want. Luther Burden. Luther Burden! Oh my god, what a laser! Back of the end zone, Luther Burden has minus 19 speed and minus medium route running. Unless he got shot in the fucking foot, I don't want to hear it. Would you patch wear and tear? It doesn't matter. He just made the clutchest touchdown of the game to give us an eight point lead on Alabama. All right, first and 10, up by eight right now. He's got a halfback route here. I don't think he'll... Oh, my God. Dude, he's been killing me with this. It's like this delayed tight end route. Tight end delay fade or something. He's been killing me with it. We've got a healthy lead right now, and we just got to hold on to it. First and 10, that's play action for sure. And I'm on this! Oh, and Grubbs gets home, but not quite. He's able to just barely get that football off. Dude, Grubbs is my guy. No play action. Does he have a delayed tight end route? No, but he does have a running back. And I perfectly predicted his movement, and I still missed that tackle. First and 10. I got a tight end route here. I've got a running back route. And Lamar is fast. I know that because I have him too. Big hit. He eats one from McNeil Warren, hoping for a fumble there. I see the corner route. I see the post, but I can't get to the post. But maybe someone else can. This is an absolutely crucial drive for him. I'm sending a blitz. Oh, my God. I did not actually expect him to run it. Ugh. Oh. Pursuit angle of the century. This is a pass. This is 100% a pass. Tight end attack. I know all the routes in this. Yes. Oh, good defense. Good defense. Just not enough. What does he do on this? He's done a few different things on this. That's fine. Good work. Third and six. Big stop defense. I'm here. Let's go. We get home. With who else? Tyler Grubbs. I love you, Tyler Grubbs. Dude, Tulane is literally winning me a championship right now. Fourth and six. Biggest play of the game. Almost two minutes left. Literally the biggest play of the game. I have the right side. Sanker! Sanker might be play of the game. Jonas Sanker with his second INT. Oh, boy. Now we just got to put it away. We just got to put it away. Start out with an inside zone to CJ2K. It's no time to take our foot off the gas because we have not won this game yet. That's so risky. Oh, good user play. Such a good user play. Third and 12. This is my last opportunity to just pick this up right now. Oh, he's there. Right over the top, Mitch Evans. Small game is one first down away from being over. Oh, I want to throw it so bad. Luther Burden, deep post! Oh, we're lighting it up right now. Do I go for the 40 bomb? I don't think it's possible with this clock, but never say never. Dude, why is he killing me on the runs? Ooh! Second and three. Wear and tear is taking its toll on this game. Second and three. Ball carrier on conservative. We're going to run power. Pick up a first down. This ball game is over. That was such a good game. It looked so high scoring, and then all of a sudden, defense has stepped up big time. And honestly, I slowed down the pace of that game in the second half. Not really on purpose. We just did. Lamar Jackson gets player of the game. 174 passing yards and two touchdowns. Although I really think it should have been Jonas Sanker. Oh, I forgot about the Travis Hunter touchdown too. Lamar throws 15 for 22, 174, and one touchdown. And then on the ground, he's eight for 54 and a touchdown. Such a 
a good game. I really couldn't get CJ2K rolling that well. His D-line was just whooping my ass straight up. Receiving Chris Johnson, eight for 50. Luther Burden honestly carried four for 78 and a touchdown. It was a slow game though, relatively. And there's Mitch Evans who had three for 47. Jonas Sanker completely saved me. Jonas Sanker was so clutch. That's my player of the game. I think what's so ironic about this game. So his Lamar is 12 for 20, two touchdowns, two interceptions. What's so ironic about this game is that since he tried to scum kick and it did didn't work, I ended up getting that kick return touchdown with Travis Hunter. I won by one touchdown. So that Travis Hunter return was a really big piece of this game. And I think that is awesome karma for people who abuse that stupid ass kick. You see it on your screen, gentlemen, the playoffs. Make it through the college football playoffs to earn your shot at the national championship. That's what we got to do on next episode. But before we get out of here, my challenge was every fourth down, I had to run the ball. And it ended up being a very difficult challenge for today. On multiple occasions, we had fourth downs, we ran for it every single time and converted. The Legend Superior Vec is loaded with players. We're gonna try this. That's actually an upgrade. A punter upgrade. An 84 QB Preston Stone. That's unfortunately not an upgrade. Gibson, I guess, could go in the depth chart. Jakeem Jackson. Oh, Stomach. Shoot, that's the worst legend to get for us. Because obviously he can't go in for Lamar. We get DJ. Isn't it crazy thing that DJ was in the same scouting class as CJ Stroud? That's wild. Yeah, pretty much none of these help us, but that just happens sometimes when we're late in the season and our team's really, really good. Although, no, actually, I take it back. That wide receiver is an upgrade on Ocho Cinco. So, Jaden Gibson out of Oklahoma is slightly better and much taller than Ocho Cinco. Did that say 6'5"? Damn! Jaden Gibson, 6'5". No complaints here. All right, gentlemen, next episode is the playoffs. This is redemption season. If we do exactly what we did last season, this will all be for nothing. So, it's time to clutch up big time. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!